Good mythical morning. Mythical Beast, I may not know much, but I do know one thing. I know that when I hear this sound. Either the aliens have just finished sucking up my medulla oblongata, or <laughs> someone's about to enjoy some delicious whipped cream. Yes. And today we are focusing on the latter. Why? Because I'm always looking for an excuse to not get abducted by aliens and to consume whipped cream. Right, but how far do the mystical powers of whipped cream go? Pies, milkshakes, Belgian waffles, hot chocolate, we know those are all better with whipped cream, but what mm -hmm. about the foods that have never met the soft touch of this whist wonder whip? Do they get better too? Well, wanna know what? I want I meant to say wanna know more. Yeah. Because it's time to find out, is everything better with whipped cream? As you established, pie and whipped cream go together like pie in the area of a circle, but will whipped cream work with any pie? How about chicken pot pie? Let's taste some cluckies and cream. Oh, we each have our own individual pot pies. I don't like sharing a pot pie. I gotta, I gotta be honest with that. We also have um, mythical branded Mythy Whip made with real whipped cream. It kind of looks like we printed these out. <laughs> On a, well, yeah. Are we selling these? Just like an inkjet. Looks cool. <laughs> Do so, it with that inkjet quality. That's a tasteful amount. Let's not get cray cray. Oh, well, you want that right there. There's a lot to discover today, guys. I, f I actually want to take my pop. Nope, it's not gonna work. Oh, yeah, you can't do that with a pop pie, man. What I'm, I'm gonna do what I normally don't do, which is just go for the middle first and scoop it out. But then you don't get a lot of crust. Ooh, it's hot. I'm gonna kinda work from the edge so I can get a little bit of crust. I burn myself. Okay, nope, I'm good. Got You gotta do a little kissy kiss to find out how hot it is. It's a little hot. I don't eat with him outside of this job. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. I'm doing like a 50-50 ratio. Oh man, you got something real good coming. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just creamier. Mm -hmm. Would you have thought that you needed your chicken pot pie to be creamier than it already is? I just said chicken. Even if I mix it up more and like try to make it into like some sort of a, some sort of a clucking latte, then it's still it's still nice. It's a clucking latte. Yeah, it is surprisingly cohesive. It's, it's not too creamy. It it's you know what? It's not as sweet. I thought that this was going to make it too sweet, but it doesn't make it too sweet. It's just creamy. So right off the bat, we've discovered something, guys. If they don't supply it with your chicken pot pie, bring it. Is it better with whipped cream? Yes. yes. I've heard it said that a wiener between two soft buns is all a man needs in this world. And when you add chili and cheese to that, you get the chili dog, potentially an unimprovable food, or is it? Let's try the creamy weenie. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I'm that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Apologizing it kind of over acknowledges it, which okay. is not a I'm good not thing. I'm not sorry, I own it. Creamy so, weenie. Do you think that, also don't say it again, V, okay. you think the chili dog is a potentially unimprovable food? I think it's plenty improvable, but not with this. Oh. I don't think. You don't think, you don't think that the chili dog is good? Like you, you said I, it in a way that like, I, I don't think, like chili dog. I, I think it's improving. It. I think like more cheese, more, more whipped cream, I don't, I just don't know. I was surprised earlier. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. What we just did. Earlier. Okay. Okay. Stink our cream tipped weenies and. <laughs> Now this is not cohesive, but it's more of a strange juxtaposition that I actually need a second bite to see if we're onto something. But the best part of this is the chili is dog. It's the chili part. dog. Once the whipped cream part is gone. Um, but it's like Again, it's not as off-putting as you might think. No, it's not, it's um, not at all. It looks cooler. You probably <clears throat> sell, sell more. For the additional cost of adding this to a chili dog, you could probably raise the price of said chili dog, especially with the names you're giving it. Yeah, if you call it creamy weenies. You add like, you could add $6 to the price of it with like 20 cents of whipped cream. Did you have one of them creamy weenies? What is it? Creamy 
I don't know. I think we might need to rethink the name. I don't think it's I don't better, think but I don't well. think it's worse. I think it's a good fair. business venture, but if we're strictly asking, is it better with whipped cream? I think we have to say no. no. Depending on where you are in this world, your ceviche may be made quite differently. And today we are having ceviche Burbank style, which is tilapia, shrimp, serrano, chili, tomato, onion, cilantro, lime, avocado, and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. We call it watch me whip, watch me ceviche. <laughs> Uh, uh. Okay. Swim away, swim away. Oh, goodness. Myth oh, look, first of all, let me just smell this. It's refreshing but seafoody. I don't know how well, I mean, typically you don't mix cr <laughs> creamy dairy things with, with fish. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people think that when you put a slice of cheese like on a fish fillet that that's a problem. We're going one step further with ceviche because it, in my mind, it's not cooked, it's still raw. It's like cooked in lemon in front of the sun or something. Yeah, lemon in front of the sun. That's exactly technically what happens. How do you make ceviche? The sun is not involved. Really? That would be bad. You don't leave fish out in the sun. You do, it cooks in, the, the same thing that happens, the way that uh, cooking something with heat breaks down the proteins happens with citrus. So At that point, I'm like blah, 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 dink it. Now, remember, it doesn't make it better because you already don't like what's happening. So you're saying maybe the whipped cream makes it easier for me to eat the ceviche? It doesn't, though. I'm, I'm having a really difficult time. With the ceviche or the whipped cream? Whipped cream's great. All right, good. <laughs> it's like a scared cat. <laughs> it makes a scared cat noise when you do that. But if you really want to get it, you gotta go like that. That makes the alien noise. Did that help with your ceviche problem? Not really. <laughs> Just force it all down. Take the whipped cream and <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Oh come on, man. Come on now. It's a ceviche. Is it better with whipped cream? No. In France, if you order cuisse de grand oui, you will be brought a steaming plate of everything that exists on a frog below the crotch level, i.e., its legs. But do these legs have room for improvement? It's time to find out with creme de Kermit. Or curami. They're so white and dangly. If you ordered it at the restaurant, this is you just wouldn't get it like this. No, this is like I'm a sure. dissection gone wrong. Yeah, this is this is like a biology class. But you do get a really good idea of exactly what you're eating. Where to aim your teeth. I'm gonna do it right up there on the thigh. <laughs> yeah, they got they got some quite some jumpers on there. Oh gosh. I mean, I don't enjoy frog thigh. So maybe this will make it my thing. Think it. Think it and bite it. <clears throat> it's just, a, it's just, it's, just a, a, it's, it's the idea. It's just the idea that makes me yeah. not happy inside. But I'm trying to chew it up before the whipped cream dissolves. <laughs> it's impossible. Because that just happened. I was having an okay time, and then the whipped cream went away. <clears throat> Reload. This works. It works, but it's not splendid. But it's not, is it great? Is it better? Oh gosh, it's so bad when it's whipped cream goes away. No, bring it on. Mm. It's getting worse. Mm. It's like we're concentrating it down, we're reducing it down to something. The essence of frog leg. <clears throat> okay, I don't know how long this is gonna continue, but I think we have enough evidence to conclude. Is it better, is it better with whipped cream? cream? Yes. yes. Okay, now that we're headed into our final rounds of tasting, of course you know things always get grosser thanks to right. the Mythical Crew. Yes, but this you. time around, we're doing something a little bit differently. It's time for, is everything better with whipped cream, pie face cannon, double extreme? Paid for by Hasbro. Okay, for these final rounds, we've got Hasbro's super fun game, Pie Face Cannon, to help us figure out if some of our absolute least yes. favorite foods are better with whipped cream. Now, here's how the game works in general. One player puts their chin on the chin rest using this hand as a shield to potentially block the whipped cream cannon. Yeah. Then the other player spins to see how close the cannon is gonna be positioned. Got another cannon here for reference. Look at that cannon. So what's gonna happen is, uh, 
You're gonna position it, then we're gonna launch the whipped cream at the other person. Players earn points by either blocking the whipped cream yes. or successfully hitting their opponent with the whipped cream. But we're gonna raise the stakes just a little bit, because in addition to possibly getting a face full of whipped cream in each one of these next rounds, whoever loses is also going to have to eat something nasty with whipped cream on top, mm -hmm. of course. And first, we're gonna find out if one of Link's least favorite foods is better with whipped cream. That food is oysters. Oh, goodness. Okay, Ooh, so. They're smelling strong. Okay, so I'm gonna spin to if figure out. If you hit me in the face, I have to eat the oysters with the whipped cream. But if, if not, you block it, it, I have to eat it. Okay, I'm gonna spin to see how close my cannon can be. And I'm, I'm gonna start practicing my blocking technique. All right, landed on three. Let me load my cannon up. Okay, I think I'm ready to block. Here we go. Look at that, I can go fast. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's a little too much, man. I can go fast or I can go slow. Nope. Okay, let me close her up. All right, I'm staring down the barrel of this cream cannon. Well, you cannon. better start moving that hand because I'm just going to hit you with it, man. You're too slow. Too ah! <laughs> <laughs> slow. I wasn't even ready. Well, you're moving it so slow, man. I didn't man. even close my eyes in time. <laughs> like, literally. That thing's got some power. Dang. Link, let me load up your oyster. Well, I'm going to go Enjoy. ahead and turn this around for you. Enjoy, Link. I don't even know how to eat an oyster, man. You just take the whole slimy thing off of there and just put it right in your mouth. Oh gosh. Breakfast of cheese. Ah! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just swallow, 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 swallow. Just swallow without thinking. <laughs> swallow without thinking. Swallow now. Just swallow. Oh, oh gosh. <clears throat> uh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, he tried. Woo! The whipped cream tastes great though. Uh, Even in my eyeballs. Are oysters better with whipped cream? Yeah, no, they're just, they're always horrible. And now finally, we're gonna find out if one of my least favorite foods is better with whipped cream. That food, the dung beetle. Oh gosh, he's a big one too. Oh gosh. Mm. Now, this is typically where I would spin to see how close the cannon should be, but since we're dealing with steaks as high as eating a dung beetle, <laughs> okay. uh, we'll just go with gentleman's rules and I'll keep it set in the same place, okay? okay. Me, me... All right, so I gotta load this thing up. Yep. Front. There we go. She's full. Close her down. Oh! I got you! But, but I, got I blocked you. it, dude. That's a block. Dang it! <laughs> I'm practiced! All right. Maybe if I cover the whole thing, maybe if I, first of all, if I just bite half of it, there's some left for you. Oh, good. If I cover it up entirely. If you encase it completely in, in whipped cream, you might forget that it's a dung beetle. Oh, gosh. You ever think about that? Why was my hand not moving fast? I was just. I gave you a few chances. I don't know if I should go for the butt or the, the front. Oh, oh. You'll eventually get to both sides. <laughs> I'm just taking a bite of this. Okay, thing. just a bite. That's totally fine. Crunchy. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> Panic. Oh. Oh. Here, I'll grab that part. I'll grab that part off. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh God! Oh, crawl it, crawl it! Oh gosh! Oh, it's horrible! Uh -oh. It smells like uh -oh. dung! Uh -oh. Gosh! I couldn't even put it further in my mouth. <laughs> my fingers it smells, stink. That they call it a dung beetle oh. because it smells like dung. That is, that's a lot worse than a typical <sighs> dung beetle. Yeah. So, uh, are dung beetles better with whipped cream? Slightly. <laughs> All right, we do these things so you don't have to. Hasbro's Pie Face Cannon is available to purchase in stores now and online using the link in the description. Thank you, Hasbro, for sponsoring today's episode, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name's Andrew. I'm in Ulu Hoktok Northwest Territories in the Canadian High Arctic. It's the middle of the night, and it's sunny and gorgeous. That's the town, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ulu Hoktok? One of my favorite places. Click the top link to watch a mythical crew pie eating contest in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Sit back, relax, and take a gulp of mythicality.